Science Central. For diabetics, insulin injections can be a lifesaver, but new research indicates it may also turn out to be a way to treat or prevent Alzheimer's disease. We've solved a big mystery that people have been puzzled about, and I think that's uh, going to take us a step closer to getting an effective treatment for Alzheimer's disease. Bill Klein and colleagues at Northwestern University had previously discovered evidence that Alzheimer's disease may actually be a form of diabetes of the brain. In normal brains, insulin fits into sites on cells called receptors, triggering a series of events that allow memories to form. But in Alzheimer's disease, toxic proteins called addles attach near the receptors, causing them to disappear. Insulin in the brain is just not working. Even though it's there, uh, it doesn't have a place to park. Its receptors seem to be less responsive to the insulin. And that, that's the same thing that occurs in type 2 diabetes outside of the brain. Working with brain cells in the lab, Klein's team treated them with high doses of insulin before introducing the toxic addles. As they reported in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, the insulin treatment blocked the adults and completely protected the insulin receptors. What we have emerging here is new approaches, and I think that's, that's something to be excited about. Since injected insulin does not make it to the brain, Klein says finding a new delivery method will be a challenge. But for now, their next step is to test insulin treatment in a mouse model of Alzheimer's. Sunita Reed, Science Central News. Thank you.